Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So we're going to be working on the front end going forward in this series, right? So that we can be able just to kind of set up the Stripe for the users that might just want to see the implementations for the Stripe. So we're going to be able to subscribe a user and restrict them according to their subscription. All right. So the, this one, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our membership. This part right here. So let it come from the database. Uh, these values and things are going to be from the database, right? So how we're going to set up the block is most of the part needs to be authenticated. So most of the pages, in order to view them, you need to be logged in as a user, all right? So as you can see, the taster right here on our home page, the person doesn't need to be authenticated, but as soon as they want to go and view the post, they need to be authenticated. Okay, so that's kind of the setup we're going to go for as soon as they're authenticated then we're going to check what kind of package they subscribe to if they're free member they cannot go to the premium post and stuff like that okay so in this one what we're going to do is we're going to work on our membership view right here and then we're going to build it going forward so as soon as a person is subscribed then we can just check if they can go to a premium post or a standard post okay so that's it. So let's go to our code editor. All right. So the view that we have seen right there. So if we go to our web route, um, if you guys are not using uh, basically the template, right, um, you can actually create a controller. Let me just open up my terminal. So in order to create a controller to return your view, you just go to PHP, artisan, make. Uh, controller right and you obviously uh, specify your controller so if you want to put it in a special folder you can actually just call the folder whatever you want and then you can type in the controller name right here okay so in this case so I can just make it name controller all right so you put in the name of the controller and then just the controller at the end right there right if you want it to be a resource controller you did Put a dash m all right then you add the model name in this case will be post and basically we'll create a resource controller from that okay but if you guys are using the template so we go to app acp controllers pages you will see we've got a membership one right here you'll see that it's an invocable function so meaning it's just one method in there so we'll just basically invoke this method right there so let's just open our web route Okay, so as you can see, all right, so these are for the people that actually using the template, all right? So as you can see, we just bring in the class right there and we'll just basically invoke this method, all right? So let's just change this um, to an index method, okay? So we're just going to call it an index, all right? So let's go in here and just change this invoke for method just to an index, okay? And Let's just quickly add the middleware in here. Okay, so let's just do a constructor. And we're just going to return uh, this middleware. Okay, so if a person wants to go to basically the different packages, they need to be authenticated. All right, so that's what I'm doing right here. So I need to be authenticated and they need to be verified okay so verified just means that the email needed to be verified okay so that's kind of the middleware that we add on this right so that as you can see it will bring us basically to that membership header right there okay so in order to click here uh to be able to go to the views you need to have and if you chase I'll leave a link up at the top right here to in order to just see the link uh, for the extensions I use in, in Laravel for PHP. Okay. So, anyways, so this is basically our index page. So we add some authenticate middleware just to make sure the person is authenticated. So as you can see, I'm not authenticated, but as soon as I refresh this page right here, it takes me to the login page. But I don't want it to be the login page. I actually want it to be the register page instead of the login. So let me change that. 
In order to change that, you go to App, ACP, Middleware, Authenticate. All right. You will see that in the Authenticate cloud, you will see the redirect to. We're just going to change the login to register like this. Okay. So let me just close this off. And so if I go to the membership again, it will just, it, instead of the login, it needs to show me the register right there. Okay, so obviously if the person already registered, they will can just click here and they will go to the login. All right, since we already created the user, I'm just going to log in with that user. Password, okay. So I log in. All right, so what I want now is uh, let's just quickly update so that this actually data that's coming from the monthly and yearly is not static. It actually comes uh, dynamically from the database. So let's do that. All right, so what we're going to do in this one, uh, we're just going to get all the plans. Okay, and then we're just going to bring in that plan model, and then we're just going to get all. All right, I will normally don't use the the all right here okay um if the data is quite a lot of data i don't use the plan all in this case i the plan all um, but since i know there's not going to be more than 10 or 20 plans um, i can use the plan all because there will not be too much data that will be coming from the database okay so i'm just going to do the compact and just pass that plans to the, basically the front end right there okay all right so let's go to our view right here so as you can see let's go this this is one this is two and this is three so basically it's our three plans so this was our free one let me just put it like here this is our free plan okay and this one is our monthly and this is our yearly. This is the static ones that's in the front end right there. Okay. So if you using the template, all right, you will see the grid calls right, right for three right there. And you'll just minimize the dips like this so that you can see them individually. So what we want to do is we want to loop just delete one of them. Okay. And just leave the free one as is. And we're just gonna do just use the one and do a loop over that add for each okay for each plans as plan and let's just move that one div inside that for each loop and let's just see if it actually duplicates it right so as you can see we got our monthly monthly so that means it duplicated that right there so i just want this to be dynamic so let me just quickly update that from the database all right so let's open our plan model quickly right, just for those that might be new all right we've got a name we've got a slug we've got a stripe name we've got a stripe id and a price and abbreviation okay so the monthly right here we're going to do that we're going to use the uh, plan uh, name Okay, I'm going to do the plan name. Let me just see if I've created those methods. No, I haven't. All right. Let me just call the property. But I want to be consistent actually throughout my application. All right, so what I've done is I basically just returned the properties, but I created methods for all of them. The slug, I just returned that property, the stripe name, that right there the stripe id this right here the price what i've done is i just added uh basically the currency symbol right there with the price okay so when we whenever i'm going to refer to the price i'm basically referring to the one with the actual currency symbol as well and then we're going to have the abbreviation for that all right so let's quickly do that as you can see i'm, I'm actually calling on the pro property right there now i'm just going to refer to the method uh, that I created inside my model right there okay so if you want to pause the video and just copy all the properties right there and just do that okay so next thing is for the price let me just call in the plan uh, the price like this okay this is obviously the abbreviation 
So I'm just going to let me just see how I saved this. One, I included the forward slash right there, so that's good. So let me just delete this and we're just going to do a plan. Okay. And then we're going to do the behavior. You could have just make it like this to shorthand for yourself. Um, I'm just going to do the full thing. All right. So let's see if all of this is actually displayed correctly now in the membership. All right. So as you can see, now it's the monthly plan and this one is the yearly plan. And you can see the $2 per month and $20 per year. So everything is good right so now the next thing we want to do is if we click this button right here it needs to take us to the checkout page so where we can fill in the data and so on so as you can see we got our sign up button right here okay so i want this to change instead of being the sign up button and want it to be the you know what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change this to be a link. So let's just do it like this X link. Um, this is basically coming from the component that we created. Under components, you will see we got a link component right there. And I'm just going to do an X link like this. Okay, then I'm just going to add the dot primary right here. Right, as you can see, it underlines it now. So basically what this does is it will create basically an anchor tag with all the right attributes. So I can add an href right here. And this is basically a route that I'm going to create to be able to go to the relevant page. Okay, so let's quickly create a route right here. Right, so what we will do is we will basically in the next episode, what we will do is we're going to create a payments route. Okay, so let's just, instead of the route like that, we're going to do a payments route. So payments, okay. And then we're going to add basically our plan, okay, the plan right here. And then we're just going to add plan that we passing through for each of these okay so that we can be able to know to which plan the user want to subscribe to then we just want to identify that with our stripe now let's just call it like this the stripe name like this all right the method that we created right there and i'm just going to call this one sign up as well all right so if let's say you don't haven't created that and you actually do it on your own just create an anchor tag like this okay then inside that you just create your sign up so for the people that and just basically have the same route in there as well okay so this this is just look at it just as an anchor tag then you can obviously add your own styling in there okay because there's some people that don't use tailwind um, they use different uh, CSS frameworks. Okay, so if you don't have the basically this part right here, the template, okay, just use an anchor tag. Okay, add your classes like if you're using Bootstrap, is BTN, BTN Dark, BTN, BTN Dark Primary, or whatever the case may be, and BTN Small. Right. And then just obviously just add your route and just copy this and just add it in there. Okay. So we're obviously going to create this route in the next episode where we're actually going to be, once the user click this button, we're going to actually process the form and all that kind of stuff. Right. So that they can be able to get to a part where they fill in the credit card details, sign up, create a subscription and stuff like that. Okay. So that's it from this one. So if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios.